drawing up the site. We'll use example files to look at how to locate points on site and to draw simple buildings. The sample file we'll use contains two simple polylines representing the footprint of a building. Later you'll turn these into a building. There are also some triangles that represent triangulation points to the boundary. In this exercise you'll learn how to use the triangle tool to locate the final boundary point. In some geographies triangulation is used with the building as a starting point for finding other points on the site. In other geographies you may start from the boundary and triangulate inward to find the buildings. Whatever is the case where you work, the principle of triangulation is the same and the tools you use are the same. Triangulate to locate a boundary point. Open the file to locating the boundary. On the navigation palette, click the design layers button. There are two layers. The active layer is the boundary layer. The two polylines are on the buildings layer and the layer options menu is set to show snap so that you can see the building shapes but not select them. Still on the navigation palette, click on the classes button. I've set up some classes for you to use in this file. Using a system of classes is best practice as it helps to organise the objects you draw so that you and other professionals can distinguish them from one another. The active class is Survey Triangulation. Right click on Windows or Control click on the Macintosh and choose Edit. Note that this class has been set up with a red dashed line to make these lines distinct from others. Click Cancel. Look at the Polygon tool on the Basic palette. Click and hold on the small triangle in the bottom right of the tool. A menu will open showing another tool hiding behind the polygon. Click on Triangle. On the toolbar, choose the first mode, Triangle by Three Sides mode. Click on Point A on the building and then click on Point B. This sets the first side of the triangle. Press Z or Z to help zoom to the points. On the dialog, enter the following values and then click OK. Side 1, which represents points A to B, do not change. Side 2, A to BP1, 14804mm. Side 3, B to BP1, 26096mm. Vectorworks offers two triangles either side of the edge A to B. Move the cursor onto the lower triangle and click. Vectorworks creates a triangle with its apex marking the point we were seeking. Draw the boundary. Now that each boundary point is drawn on the plan, you'll use the polyline tool to draw the boundary line. When drawing around a shape like this, you can use the spacebar to temporarily activate the pan tool. This will enable you to move the drawing around to reach points not seen on the screen. You can also use the snap loop, the Z key, to temporarily zoom the area under the cursor and aid accurate drawing. Use the navigation palette to make Survey Site Floor the active class. Choose the Polyline tool and choose Corner Vertex mode. Click on the new point BP1 and then click on BP2. Click on BP3. Now use the U key on your keyboard, pressing it four times to shortcut to the Polyline's Point on Arc mode. Click on point BP4 and then on BP5. Press the K key on your keyboard to draw the final segment for you and close the polyline. Select the polyline if it's not already selected. Choose Edit Copy and then Edit Paste in Place. We'll convert one of these objects to a floor and the other to a property line object. Choose Landmark, Architectural, 
Floor. Click OK to create a floor with a thickness of zero and a height also of zero. The floor is a hybrid object that can display a 2D appearance in top plan view and a different appearance in a 3D rendered view. Choose Modify, Send, Send to Back to send the floor object to the bottom of the stack of objects. Double click on a blank part of the drawing area to return to the selection tool and click to deselect the floor object. Create the boundary or property line. Property line is a useful tool for displaying data about the site, including its area and the dimensions of the boundaries. On the navigation palette, make Survey Property Line the active class. Select the duplicate polyline. Choose Landmark, Create Objects from Shapes. Complete the dialog as follows. Object type, property line. Show properties dialog, check. Delete source shapes, check. Click OK. On the resulting dialog, change the following fields, leaving the others unchanged from their defaults. Name, six Woodsbean Drive. Click OK. The polyline is replaced with a property line in the same shape. Examine the property line. It shows valuable information about the area of the site and the boundary lengths. Click the Classes button on the view bar to open the organisation dialog again, this time on the Classes tab. Examine the list of classes in this file. Select the class called Survey Property Line and click Edit. The graphic attributes of this class are displayed. In this case, the property line has a fill style of None, allowing the floor colour to show through it. Click OK to close the Edit Class dialog and OK again to close the Organisation dialog. On the Navigation palette, click on the Classes button. To the left of the name Survey Triangulation, click in the centre column to make all members of this class invisible. The objects are still present in the file and can be used for reference at any time simply by restoring the visibility of the class. Choose File Close. There's no need to save the file as I've provided the file we'll be using for the following exercise.